Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. A little more heat, a little more humidity, and a little bit more showers and thunder showers as we head through this afternoon and also for the weekend ahead. For today, just a few passing thunder showers at times across the Susquehanna Valley. Better chances for showers and thunder showers will be around for both Saturday and Sunday. And we do have that springtime stickiness back into the Susquehanna Valley. Clouds are thick, but you can see over Lancaster just a few breaks at times may see some peaks of sunshine as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures will be just a touch cooler than yesterday. Right now we're already up to 71 in Lancaster, but the dew points are in the mid 60s, making it feel sticky right now. Super Doppler right live radar zoomed in over York and Lancaster County. You can see we have some showers just to the north there of Mountville, not too far away from Mount Joy and Columbia. Also some spotty showers just south of Red Line in York County. So we'll keep these showers around. Much of the area will continue to stay dry, but if you do see them like we're seeing just north of Chambersburg, they're going to be relatively light to moderate in intensity. So mostly cloudy skies for all. A few thunder showers for some stickiness area wide highs today, mid to upper 70s for tonight. The clouds will linger. We'll see some spotty showers and some areas of some drizzle and some fog. Lows will be mild in the low to mid 60s for your Saturday. I expect mostly cloudy skies. Better chances for scattered thunder showers will be around with temperatures rising once again into the mid to upper 70s. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances for this afternoon through early tomorrow afternoon. Highest chances for these passing showers and thunder showers will be after lunchtime tomorrow on into the early evening hours. Temperatures are fairly seasonable right now. It's 70 in Elizabethtown, Lancaster County and 68 currently in York. It's even warmer off to our west where we are seeing more sunshine over the Mississippi River Valley in the Ohio River Valley. There it is the swirl in the clouds and the showers. This area of low pressure has been sitting off the east coast for now more than five days. It is going to start to turn to the north and head into the Susquehanna Valley as we head through the weekend. And if you remember, that's the same storm system that was overhead last weekend. But unlike last weekend, it's not going to be a washout. We're talking just passing showers and thunder showers with the temperatures rising into the mid to upper 70s. So here's a look at the predictor. Notice at six o'clock some passing showers and thunder showers. But as we head to the overnight hours, most of them will fizzle on out. Just some patchy drizzle at times and along with some fog for tomorrow morning. Isolated showers will be possible. Better chances for scattered showers and thunder showers will be around tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening as the area of low pressure moves directly overhead. That storm energy will start to move out of the region on Sunday. Sunday morning looks to be dry. It's later in the day on Sunday as a cold front starts to move in from the west. Our shower chances and thunder shower chances will start to rise. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances for sun or Saturday, Sunday and also into Monday. Highest will be Saturday afternoon. I think we get a break Sunday morning, but then Sunday afternoon showers and thunder showers are likely another storm system will approach from the Ohio Valley on Monday, giving us some scattered showers and thunder showers as well. Temperatures near average topping off in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees through Monday. A cold front will move through drying us out for Election Day Tuesday it will stay dry and mild into Wednesday. Chances for showers and temperatures will start to rise again mid to late next week.